Kevin McCarthy decided to take all the footage from January 16th, and there's a, a huge quantity of footage from uh, all the cameras inside uh, inside the um, inside the Capitol, and he decided to take all that footage uh, and um, and release it to the to, to the media, but. He decided to give Tucker Carlson uh, exclusivity for a few weeks or a few days, I don't know, but for a while so that Tucker Carlson can, can tell his story. And then, and only after Tucker Carlson edits the video, release the rest of it to the rest of the, uh, to the, rest of the media. Um, and I think he did this supposedly as part of the deal in order to become speaker that he cut with the, with the you know, with, the, uh, with some of the opposing House members uh, uh, who are even more Trump, uh, Trump, uh, you're even more supportive of Trump than Trump himself, even more supporters of Trump than Kevin McCarthy is, and uh, and uh, part of their commitment was to to do whatever they could to whitewash the um, uh, the January sixth um, events. So uh, look, I, I I said this from January six. I mean, I saw the video live. Um, I saw people breaking in to the Capitol. Don't tell me the doors were open through them. I'm sure some doors were open, but I saw people breaking in. I saw people climbing up the walls. This, the, the videos now showing people climbing up the walls. I saw people beat up cops. I saw people break down barriers. This is not a few demonstrators walking around and then the doors happen to be open, so they meandered in. Even the people who meandered in saw other protesters breaking in, saw other protesters, rioters really, beating up cops. And they decided to just stroll along into the, into the, um, uh, into the House of Representatives and into the Senate chamber. And, and uh, you know, they just happened to be chanting something about hang, uh, you know, Hang Mike Pence as Mike Pence was inside there. They just happened to try to break into the chamber where the Senate was discussing certifying the vote. It's it just an accident. They, they were just tourists there to see Washington, D.C. I mean, give me a break. I, I've been to the Capitol. I've been to the tunnels under the Capitol. I've roamed around the corridors of the Capitol, not as a tourist, but meeting people, and getting in. Look, you go through security, you go, I mean, it's a whole process. You don't just meander in. So if they were allowed to meander in, it's because the cops were afraid of them. And you can see cops being afraid of them. You can see cops being chased. We saw the videos. So don't believe your eyes. Believe Tucker Carlson. Don't believe your eyes. Believe the editing of Tucker Carlson. And people defending this, it's just unbelievable. I mean, Fox has basically become a, uh, a, a, a network that doesn't even try to pretend that they are seeking facts. I mean, they always were biased. But now they're just lying and embracing the lie and doubling up the lie and reaffirming the lie. They're taking hours and hours of video and screening it down to a few people meandering down the corridors, not doing anything nasty, while evading, evading, not ignoring, evading everything else that's on those videos and selling this as the truth, as the official story, as the non-Democrat you know, Democrat story or the non-mainstream story or the non-establishment story, and therefore the correct story because anything that's anti-establishment is correct. A crazy man, a crazy man is walking around with, with, you know, a whole getup. And the cops are watching him. But generally, the cops are, are not engaging with these people. But they're watching him because he's a nutcase walking around the Capitol, inside the building, yelling and chanting. And how is it presented by Tucker Carlson? They're escorting him. They're showing him around. They're being tour guides. Just like, I mean, when I went to the Capitol, I, I, I was shown in and, and uh, you know, five or six policemen just showed me around.
I mean, escorted by security? Give me a break. This was clearly a riot. This was clearly an attempt to intimidate Mike Pence, congressmen, senators into reversing a, 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 an election. This was clearly violent. And if this had been staged by Antifa or the left, the same people today saying, oh, they're just tourists, would have demanded the death penalty for treason for every single one of them. And here we go. The people accusing me of TDS. This is so predictable. I said it at the beginning of the show. <laughs> so predictable. So, I mean, just think about what would have happened if these were leftists. Not, not in terms of the cops' response, but think about what would have happened if these were leftists in terms of the way Fox would have covered it. The way Tucker Carlson would have covered it. He would have edited it to show exactly the opposite. This pure partisan, tribal lying. And this is a, this is a, 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 a network now that now is so, has to, has to please a, a subsection of the Republican faithful, a subsection that wants them to lie, that rewards them for lying, that increases the ratings for lying. And it's, it's just, um, it's stunning. It's stunning uh, how bad Fox has become um, and uh, how disgusting it is and how, uh, you know, this is a network I used to watch. I think a lot of us used to watch. And uh, we have a lawsuit now against Fox by Dominion. Uh, the, 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 the material coming out from Discovery, I've talked about it on the show, is unbelievable in terms of the double-facedness, obvious dishonesty and obvious lies that Fox was telling. Fox is a... Um, is now a basically an arm of the Republican Party. And, and not just of any Republican Party. It is an arm of, I think, the worst elements within the Republican Party. It is, a, it is a, an extension of uh, Trumpism. It's an extension of Trump. It, you know, why anybody watches this network, I have no idea. I don't understand. It has lost all credibility. You know, I, granted, there's no... Uh, uh, news. Do you, do you know who the most, this is funny, actually funny. So the, the, the survey is now about uh, the, the American people's distrust of the media, and they ask them, you know, do you trust this? Do you, which networks do you trust? And, and basically, the American people don't trust any of them. I mean, NBC, CBS, ABC do better than, than Fox and CNN and MSNBC and obviously all those. But what network do you think, what news show do you think is trusted the most by Americans. <laughs> it just shows you how dumb people are. Uh, NPR is not trusted. NPR is, again, way down. It's below NBC, CBS, and ABC. It's down. I don't have the, the, the actual list right in front of me, but, it, but it's down there. I noticed that. But what is number one? That I noticed. Do you know what number one is? It, like 46% or maybe it's 51% of Americans trust this network, not CNN. CNN is way down. Um, 46, 51% of uh, BBC. Mansa got it right. Mansa West got it right. BBC, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Service. Now, let me just be clear. The BBC is super leftist. It was leftist before MSNBC was ever invented. It's been leftist forever. It is basically, it, 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 it's, it's run by the, funded by the British government. It's dominated by leftists, by the left. It always has been. It's awful. It's horrible. And, and yet, Americans are so disgusted by their own media that they're willing to accept leftist propaganda from the Brits because they have a great accent, because it's not American. And they lie in more subtle, British, sophisticated ways. Anyway, um, 
you know, it's been a, I, 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 I have thought Tucker Carlson was beneath contempt for a long time, and he's only f sinking further uh, into a swamp of Fox News' own making. You know, we, we kind of expect this kind of stuff from, from, from the left, but now the right is exactly the same. There's no difference between, I mean, CNN is better than Fox. Uh, you know, Fox is basically MSNBC. MSNBC and Fox are both in the gutter. They're both just, um, uh, you know, propaganda arms of their, um, uh, uh, you know, of their political parties. And uh, I, I think they should be viewed for that. And, and remember, Fox is not the most consistently crazy white network. There's a whole bunch of networks to the right of Fox. What we're really missing in the U.S. is a kind of a center-right, what Fox used to be, a kind of a center-right. It, 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 it's interesting that Murdoch, I don't think is anywhere near as crazy as Fox is. Murdoch has actually turned away from Tr Donald Trump and, it, and is not, I don't think, will back Donald Trump. The, the New York Post, which is a Murdoch newspaper, has turned away from Trump, is, is clearly endorsing um, uh, DeSantis. But Tucker Carlson is all in, all in on the crazies, all in on the nutcases. Now, I've had white hair for a long, long time. You can find videos of me, and it's never been black. Never had black hair. Always had brown hair. Trump did not cause this. Trump is the least of my problems in life. <laughs> um, my grandfather had white, white hair, a complete head of white hair. Uh, but no, Tucker Carlson is beneath CNN by a mile. He is, uh, he, he is what's, what's the woman's name? In MSNBC, the propagandist, the leftist propagandist. I would watch CNN any day over Tucker Carlson. But what's the woman, uh, what's the woman, um, uh, you know, I've showed videos of Tucker Carlson uh, and, and, and his complete and utter nonsense. Yeah, she, he's Rachel Maddow. He is the moral and journalistic equivalent of Rachel Maddow. That is, that is the reality, which I know you guys don't want to hear and you don't want to believe and you will stick to your right-wing propaganda no matter what. And, uh, you know, you, 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 cannot even, you cannot even entertain in your mind the possibility that, uh, that, that the right can be as bad as the left. I mean, you're so enamored uh, with this that it's... But yes, you know, this is the Tucker Carlson that said that what made America great was beautiful scenery and God and faith. That's the Tucker Carlson. And, um, yep. Yeah, and it's the most popular political TV show. It's, I think, the most popular TV show um, in, um, in the United States. This is where we are. I mean, partially that's because the left has so many fragmented TV shows, uh, it all gets fragmented. But yeah, I mean, because Tucker Carlson has this unbelievably dedicated, blind, obedient audience that will take anything from him, anything. And the fact that he is the most popular TV talk show host today. I mean, I used to think Bill O'Reilly was awful and terrible and a pragmatist in the middle of the road, nothing. And he makes Tucker Carlson... I mean, now I miss Bill O'Reilly. Where's Bill O'Reilly? And, and Bill O'Reilly was horrible. And he had the biggest show on television. Bill O'Reilly was by far the biggest show on television. He appeared on the show a number of times, a number of times. And uh, yeah, Bill O'Reilly never sunk to the lows that Tucker Carlson has sunk to. Hey, and Bill O'Reilly had me on. Tucker Carlson has not. So there you go. Bill O'Reilly was nuts. What does that say about Tucker? And Bill O'Reilly was just, was huge, huge at the time. Um, so the size of the audience does not impress me. It, it more is an indication of the state of America and uh, what Americans value and what Americans want to hear and what interests Americans. 
um, it, it, much more than what, um, yeah, than, than the other way around. So uh, to me, the fact that so many Americans listen to Tucker Carlson says a lot about America, state of America. And, and the state of kind of, and again, what, what Americans are looking for in, um, in their television. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.